Hello Total War Gamers, welcome back to Third Age Total War Divine and Conquer 2.1 The Principality of Dolamroth And we've left uh, the previous episode at a cliffhanger uh, One unit of Sparrowman and a unit of Pikemen Up against our general and one unit of um, Dolamroth Squires They have an... Um, the Pikemen have average morale, good morale response The Hardening Sparrowman have an impetual morale and uh, or average morale and impetuous morale response, so they're not likely to route. So obviously, it um, will be very important for us to kill their general um, to get ahead with this fight. And we, I, I want to keep my own general alive. Now he, I think we've saw that we've seen that last time. He has a lot of hit points, so obviously the, um, he won't die quickly. But still, uh, he can die. <clears throat> now they are attacking us. So I think what I should do is just uh, deploy in the corner. Make them come to us. And um, First thing we can benefit from is fatigue. So let's just assume that they are uh, getting themselves fatigued. Um, that is one way where we can gain an advantage over them. And also, uh, we can rest up our units by pulling them back at a reasonable speed and then um, redeploying elsewhere, waiting them out again. Now, they are simply on marching pace, but I do think that even marching uh, wears them out. I'm, I'm not even sure anyone knowledgeable about the game might uh, shed some light on that perhaps uh, let me stand over here apparently they are headed for our general in the corner there oh and they're clumping up which means if I were to try and charge their general down here, um, I'm gonna hit both those units. But perhaps not. Okay, let's go in. Um, let's not go in. I don't mind uh, fighting one unit at a time, but two of these is just a disaster. Okay. Let's try and hit this one unit. Good tidings. Okay. The enemy general lies dead. Now let's try and save as many of our men as we can. Their general died. Men of uh, the, the beauty of this match is we cannot withdraw. Boom. Uh, whatever it is that you want to call beauty, but that's the thing. Our general would have to route to survive this. And obviously he is not very likely to route. Only half the enemy force remains. out uh, as long as I can keep charging those guys in the rear I'm all in favor of it kaboom only pray something changes in the course of battle for defeat seems almost certain they're down to 38 oh. Ready 
pull through into their rears. The feat seems almost certain. How many bikes are left? Wavering. Come on, boom, another charge. Oh, they've broken. Now so let's see them off collectively. changes in the course of battle. almost Nineteen pikemen left. Hey, come on. These guys are very tired, so I'm gonna rest them up. He is winded. I hope you can outmarch Pikeman. Come on. He doesn't do a very quick job. Tiring. Saddle up, knights. Charge. I'm facing just a couple of uh, exhausted pikemen in some time. Winded, he's winded. Forward. March. is going to be a little bit tricky. I want to have them more rested than they are now. The rest of the unit has uh, left the map. Uh, the balance bar uh, is uh, saying it's evenly matched. Okay. 
they are warmed up now. So at least uh, the penalties shouldn't be as harsh right now. He's also warmed up. Now, as long as they are not bracing. try and um, they're probably going to go for my general here and I want uh, these guys to get a downhill charge uh, against the rear of these guys that would be optimum Lancers. Okay, there you go Boom. They are marching, wavering, the battle broken. seems to be swimming <laughs> in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Yeah. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory that worthy of only the okay. mightiest of generals. We heal eight backups so we get 13 soldiers. Now, unless he is attacked again, he should survive. Mm. <clears throat> but if they attack him again, which if I were Harad I would, then this sh should be game over for her. What's his name? Hall Hallian. Um, okay. Yes, we'll execute them. See that? Uh, that's more than we can beat. Uh, okay. Uh, all resolve. Clear defeat. We lost our general there. So. There was no way around it. I got him into an impossible position. And. We lost him. We need to take Barad Harn. In this case, we might actually get him with uh, the, the mission. Khaldun. Alright, let's rename it after uh, Halion then. Uh, there you go. Halion Tur. Um, it was quite a noble death indeed. Uh, I might have. I will not waste words on you. Gone into the battle map and tried to kill a few, but with their numbers that low. He was just, uh, he just gained an Haradrim tribes banner and a shield bearer. <laughs> Plus two hit points. Oh, I might as well have tried that. I don't know. There was no way. He could have perhaps routed off the field and save this uh, mm, poor Hallian. Anyway, you can't always get what you want now. Can you? Then Talib is already back to 17 units, so the whole the whole purpose of of the fleet driving uh, there you go. Driving the army out there was to Captain Neron. Uh, we lost five units of squires and a general. In in uh, quite a wasteful effort to. Okay, if I take you out, and then here we have another navy. He's gonna land another army without a general. Of the fleet. And we are blockading this port. And we no longer need to. So let's just come back here. Yes, sir. Full sail. Set sail. And block this port. 
And Mariners of the fleet. Bring over this army. Yes, sir. Full sail. Mariners. You sail back and pick up our next detachment, or if we there is any. No further. Paragund. <clears throat> um, we've drawn their army out of Tal Al Jaf, but there's still two generals in there. So he's got three generals in the vicinity there that I would like to pick off one by one. But let's first combine these uh, forces here. And I don't know if they are going to attack our faction leader here. We have money enough so I am going to give him cavalry Joining forces, my lord. and then uh, some more cavs um, yep. got a unit of haven guard in here so it should be strong enough but anyway my lord. whatever we can pull out I will okay. so obviously Forces, you guys go back and you two so let's not take any further risks again now then we have some money and Halion Tur seems to be the the center of all our uh, our action here so let's build some schools and speed up the colonization process that we're all about right now and in the meantime, uh, I think we are recruiting left and right, aren't we? Yes, we are. So we are recruiting all we can to raise another army and head over to Barad Harn. Now, uh, any extra units can go into forts for free upkeep. I don't know how soon... How many units are completing next turn? Oh, just one. Here, however... It'll be a few, but our general is just going to stay there. In any case, you move out. So, keep our free upkeep to the maximum. Lin here isn't training. Oh, we've already trained a ton of um, Ready your uh, weapons. coastal wardens to deal with that Mumi kill. There are, we've seen them here. Oh, wow. And that's the question though, is, are these guys actually Come training more recruits Come or is it just what gone. they get at the start and then period? Because if they train up and they're going to stack up on those elite units that they get, then they're probably the biggest threat in the vicinity. Uh, you, in the Ambrosian yes. Fort. Now, I don't know how many of you never take adoptions, but uh, it does really limit um, your number of generals, as you can tell. Well, we've got three here. Baragund can head over to Ardemir. Oh, but he wasn't a, a very good governor now, was he? I feel like I feel, uh, it appears... I, uh, let's, let's just see where the action is going to concentrate because it appears that it's gonna all be here at uh, Tal Al Jaf and Halion Tour. We'll be ready for uh, more action in the next turn. Maintain order because we got another army Ships coming. Ready. Okay then let's bring uh, Istian over to Let us set up camp here. Maintain order. Um, what unit is costing me this one? As you wish you sit in the fort um, oh, Captain of Gondor. You might as well go there. Let us set up camp here. Uh, let's operate one defending army, one offensive army here, and one offensive army here, and one defensive army here, more or less, and and try to have governors as much as possible. I would love, I would love to have a governor in each city. Let's check now. Um, twenty-two turns until we can get another general. So that should be a while. I'm gonna activate this guy. <clears throat> Awaiting your command. Dunedan. 
at points. Master Trader. Overly trusted and superb administrator. He's probably poo lazy. You bastard. Okay. Ready your weapons. You shall not be lazy any longer. Build a watchtower, that's one thing. Your Let me go remove a trade this uh, slothful. I think it is. Does that work? Yeah, he no longer is lazy. That's the thing. You keep him inside a, a settlement, and then all of a sudden they go lazy. Right out here, weapons. then. You lazy? Nope. That's a good thing. Imrahil. Are you lazy? No, he has farming knowledge. That is on all some. He also has night fighter capacity. Does Ardrahil have Captain night fighter capacity? You, I would think so. Yes, he is. Adopts scouting. Marks of war. Yeah, he should have plenty of extra hit points as well. Yeah, we should have those guys in action. Imrahil as well. He has also oh, got a special a ability. Here. He has night fighting capacity, so... Uh, right now he is buffing the growth of a talent, which is a uh, kind of uh, interesting task now, isn't it? Because a talent really is. Yes, my lord. What is it you wish to do? Uh, we have got five. Let's give you an alliance and map info. No, we cannot. Let's Another exchange map info then. Where? This isn't going to. Well, that's in fruitful. <laughs> Farewell. Or well, whatever you consider to be fruitful, yes, I don't lord. know. What but is it you wish to uh, let's exchange map info. I must say we are not very well. Let's what offer you an alliance then. This isn't going to happen. No, Good day I, to I, you. I notice it's not going to happen. Um. Now where is my spy? We've got one spy down at uh, um, Karakmir. And where is? Do we have any others? It may not be. We do. My lord. Shafra. You are. Oh, here. Oh, yeah. Well, they have uh, the serpent guard, I guess. Black snake guard. But. Yeah. I'm out for revenge now. I wanna. Pay, give them payback for killing uh, Halion. But we'd better go up there. I think. Oh no, I don't know. Not 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 that much better. Um, hmm. I want to get Tal Al Jaff. Because it's also an immediate threat to Artemir, and I want to get rid of that. So, Awaiting your command. that should be one of our first uh, jobs. Turn 50, what happens? Enervate the Glass War on Bree. <clears throat> and Dunland. But Istian is going to join the fray here. Can't. Imladris reached. Invasion called against Imladris. Oh dear. There they go. No adoptions. Yay! But I can't afford yet. Khan stands with the Istari. That is good and maybe a little bit bad for us. Uh, queue stalled, end of turn, guild available, recruitment, construction. Lin here. Okay. Um. Metras holds Breeders Guild. Hmm. 
A lot happened. Uh, Khan stands with us, so is it a war with Mordor, Havard, and Rune? Uh, and anyway, is at war with Bree and Dunland? Oh, we have automatically declared an alliance with Khan. I didn't know, but okay. Um, now recruitment report, Metrast. Recruitment report, Dolanov. Let's not recruit these guys and get that killed. There you go. And now recruit them. Um, Breland, good relation. Q's stalled. We have, we are making money still. Gondor is in the lean, lean, in the lead. And Linha has built its communal farming. Um, they've retreated back into Tal Al Jaf. Istian is going to come here. Marchmen. This Ships army ready. is going to land right there and your join Istian. Uh, Drahil's Haven Guard and two Emotian Squires. Two. Correction. One. As you wish. Which are our most expensive Man, units in order. here? A road to bike costs 310, 240, 240, 310. Okay, so the bikes. You can put two units of bikes in there, one bike, two bikes. There you go. Rest of your army comes back in here. And I guess we can upgrade their experience or their armor, whatever. Uh, but it won't be too many that we can give that to. There you go. Um, Protect the blood of Numenor. Talib, you are and so screwed. You in <laughs> without, without even knowing. <coughs> um, there you go. Set sail. Um, at Helen. Oh, it needs to grow to 13,000. Well, whatever you want. Awaiting your command. I'm not gonna wait for that. Let us set up camp here. Im Rahil goes As you wish. to where the action is. Um, Amandir Zigud is going to come to, um, what's it called? Orders. To Lamrod. By your command, march to exhaustion, continue, yes. Maintain order. And this guy. Protect the blood of Numenor. Is going to join an attack on... this thing, which is now probably being besieged by... what's its name? Harad! <laughs> um, one navy... Blockade here, we the other the uh, blockade there. Blocking access to their port. Ankara may have full of rebels. My lord. Um yeah, I want to take Your will, these guys we can go no to the battle. 
Ähm. Bot, 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 bot. Yeah, I think we need to uh, turn this into an offensive. Simply. Because um, it'll be a while before we have another army. And obviously the easiest is to first take Gobel Mirland. And there's one, two forts here. That are gonna allow for easy protection. This is just quite a march away. Awaiting your command. Before we get there. I will not waste words on oh, you. Oh really? Um Yeah, I believe you. Ships ready. Mm, there you go. We are trading with you, aren't you? We? Yes, let's offer you an alliance. No, we will not agree to anything. Farewell then. Run out here. Yes, you have a proposition. Alliance. I must say, we are not. Good day to you. Okay. I thought maybe with the shifts of balance everywhere, they could consider joining us, but no. Um, what is our victory condition anyway? Harat ar Adenaim. Oh. And then hold 30 regions. Okay. Interesting! Um, let's just uh, go into the next turn. Now, if you're interested, I and this is your first visit, then do take a look at my channel. All the playlists are out there with. A lot of um, campaigns in Divide and Conquer 2.1. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing some bugs fixed, which will be in 2.2. So uh, there's a couple of factions that I want to try out as well. Um, Northern Dunedain is one, Gondor, Bri. Oh yeah, that was going to happen. The rumors of the Astari. Loss. I have a comp campaign, so um, to get a full uh, read on all that happens there, go to my comp campaign. Uh, Lamadan clansmen, some cavalry, some militia units. Uh, that should all be fine, really. <coughs> um, Haladan, you're coming here. You are coming. There. Uh, Istian, the uh, Amandir the Good, sorry. You are going your there. My lord. And you are coming here. Together with Lord Imrahil. Uh, both these My guys. Lord. And that uh, the cavalry. Well, no, the ship is loaded. And we're gonna. Whoop. Yes, sir. Go this way and collect some units there. We can go no further. Hey, Gondor is out there. Oh, Gondor, Mordor, I mean. Mordor is out there. And so. Woo! Nizar. Um. Watchtower. There you go. Captain of Gondor. Istian. Protect the blood uh, of Numenor. Attack him. Slay them! Haha! <laughs> We've destroyed them! Oh really? This is gonna be fun. The enemies of Gondor. Could go for a night attack, but uh, it's probably more fun with the five units of cavalry that we have to try and kill them all. Do we have time in this episode? I don't know. Let's just try. Uh, enter. There you go. 
So first is the Camel Riders as a general, and then the Haradrim Spearmen. Only sec, there's two units of Haradrim Spearmen, but that should be obvious. Payback time. I'm coming to punish you for killing my general. Hmm. <coughs> Start the deployment. Cavalry to the right. And then Pikes Guardsmen, new no, Pikes. Pikes in the center. Guardsmen uh, two units to the left. One to the right. Coastal wardens are primarily here, primarily here, to deal with uh, large targets. And uh, what else do we have? Uh, there you go, Haven Guard, General, Tiny Cav. And uh, I think that is it, isn't it? No. Have faith in the silver tree. The enemy have brought up more men. Okay, camel riders. Oh, the rest is coming quite quickly. Shulman hunters. Um, group, can I get my army deployed? No. Uh, Why doesn't it do that? I don't know anymore. Anyway, uh, forget about it then. We miss archers. The rest of the army is, uh, of their army at least, is approaching quite quickly. Storming ahead there, Muhad tribesmen. They have impetuous morale. They're on my 44. They're right there. Archers, hello. If we continue like this, we'll smash the enemy. Southron Warband is gonna run into our behinds here. Too bad. I'm having to break this off. Anything else? 
Um, you come out. You charge the camel riders again. Have slain the enemy general. It's Without probably him, it's another truth, general, though. Will to fight. Um, what is it? Where are we? Okay. need to get those camel riders and make sure they don't escape. <coughs> the enemy general flees like the coward he is. That's the camel Press rider. And break the spirit of his army. There they go. Okay, so you come this way. Them. What is it? Continue like this, Ow. we will smash the enemy. Pike's coming. One thing though, he might actually not retreat to the castle because um, it's a different army. What is that? Out of the name Spearman. Fight for your honor! Oh, and he got away. Long guy. Now he might actually uh, retreat into uh, their fort. And then we don't get to win Gobel Milond. <laughs> <laughs> 
without a fight, to be honest. To be precise. way by the pikemen They have lost half their men. Fear nothing and fight well. There is a possibility that that single camel either doesn't survive, that the entire army disbands, and there is a possibility that they retreat to further back than. Um, that settled their settlement. Uh, right now, though, I can't be sure of either. Okay, you got them. The enemy army flees the yes, field. We will Pursue continue. and run them down. Um, okay, from here. You uh, please run these guys down. Now everyone is charging after someone. I just want to make sure we round them all up. In other words, making sure that none escape. But, oh shoot. They can run faster than we can arrest them. Oh no. Nope. Okay. Ah! My plan is foiled by some archers. Oh, how painful. And probably also by uh, exhausting our cavalry way more than necessary. But anyway. We won't have uh, too much to kill once we finally attack it. And maybe we should just lay siege to it and hope that someone... Fear nothing and fight well. Um, Prepare for battle. Make every shot count. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah. Uh, quite a few are getting away. For Sloppy me. Uh. 
I do admit sloppiness in this battle. <clears throat> Regardless, we shall overpower them. Oh, cavalry. Into them. This is a clear victory. Oh. Soldiers remaining zero. But uh, yeah, there's gonna be a 56 soldiers left in the town. I'm afraid. Unless they retreat even further away. But I don't think so. It's just gonna. It is going to go down that way. Now, I didn't mean to kill the garrison. I just wanted to eliminate that first army, but. Striking them both down with a single blow obviously is advantageous. But uh, it, was, it was a messy one. I think I'm, I'm still emotional after uh, losing Halion. And obviously emotions are poor uh, counselors when it comes to Armster Generaling. Like this Bilbo here. Armstair? Did I say armstair? I mean armchair. Armchair generally. I did say armstair, armstair didn't I? Yeah. Words are hard. Um, also, I do believe that this should be... Oh! Bloop. Oh! Bloop. Oh. Oh. Interesting. Let us set up camp. Out and in you go. Marching to war. Speak, protect the blood of Numenor. Ready your weapons. Orders. Orders. Okay. As you wish. Captain of Gondor. Yes. Why can't any of our infantry As you wish. head in there? Order. Protect the blood of Numenor. Your will, my lord. Your will, my lord. The Haven Guard could. Yes. This is a town, it's a city. I can just lower taxes and then repair the towers. Tee hee hee. Tee hee. We get Gobo Midland like almost almost free of charge. Well then let's add back in. We can go no further. We need this town. Eliminate Harad and own 30 settlements and then we already win the campaign um, why do I want uh, Mirland and Chal al Jaf because I want to take away their shipbuilding capacity as well so we don't have to worry about it My Lord. Um, we should why aren't we making any more than this? We just conquered Gobo Midland. Um, it'll be fine. <laughs> it still needs a grain exchange. So, yeah. Meeting all smoking house. Awesome. I want I want mo uh, obviously I want that smoking house because I want more spies rapidly. But as you can tell, these two are well defended. Then again, if we push into Tal Adja, we can throw this army against them and this and that, and I think we simply should. This is a castle, so I can't just put nobody in here. It needs to be pacified still. Um, we will be contesting Gondor over Harondor. Mordor, I mean. Why, I keep, why do I keep saying... Ardrahil Proving Commander. Why do I keep saying... Dwarven Friend, Inventor, all good. I keep saying... Gondor when I mean to say Mordor. Two totally different things. Anyway, um, 
it is time to wrap up this episode, which I hope you have enjoyed. Um, Halion tour in memory of our good general Halion, who was with us uh, only a couple of turns compared to how long he should have stayed alive. But it is as it is. Uh, nothing can be changed about it now. For just for uh, sheer epicness, I could have fought that battle and tried to kill a few more. My Lord. Kind of regret not doing that now, but also that is as it is. Why do you have so many men? Because you have Hashari Shadows as your bodyguard. Now that is cool. Nizar comes with Black Snake, God like most. Oh, and then here is Pashtin, who also has Black Snake guard. So there's two generals in here, and then there's they're building up. They're they're getting up to steam. And uh, Khanda apparently is being pressed hard by. My lord. Oh, that's one of the armies here has. Uh, oh, it's probably moved into this one. Farazon general has Selswoods. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so <clears throat> we've got some uh, business cut out for us. And, uh, well, I have no clue on the whereabouts of Kant. So they they might as well sell soon, die off if they if they didn't expand it. At least they didn't. As far as I can tell. Not into these regions. So this is Harab now. This should be Mordor. Whoever's there, I don't know yet. Ready your weapons. Um, the advantage of having Gobo Mirland is that we can also take Barad Harn and um, connect our uh, our two geographical areas, which are now split apart by uh, Barad Harn not being ours. This might actually also be Mordor. I'm curious. I can't get there. Nope. Ships ready. I can. But I would probably create another general that would not wooden tie. There you go. Leaving the fleet. It is Kant. Who's now our ally? Full sails. <laughs> and then an, an army without a general as well. Fine day to sail. Who? Who'd have thought uh, this then? How the sheesh? Ah, uh, we still might purchase it off their hands. I mean, I kind of want to own her rondo myself, but anyway. First things first. Um, where is Kant then? Oh, I can see that because they're now my allies. So they are in, in here, or is it just because I had my spy over there? For some time, yeah, uh, we, we we've come across them because I, I don't get to see any of the old settlements. Uh, do I have a diplomat in the vicinity? No, I don't. Your will, my lord. Well, can I train one? I think, or can I? Yes, I can. Um, Are we uh, we're probably not trading with them, even while they are our allies. So let's do them later. Get a diplomat to them. Mariners. Won't be him anymore. Ready. Uh, well then, that is uh, the end of turn 51. Which has been interesting. And a penny for your thoughts. Captain of Gondor. What shall we do now? Maintain order. I want to have I wanna have watchtowers. I want to have spies. Alionthur is a castle. Oh, we're out of money again. Whilst we're doing this. Yep. Um, this is going to be the end of this turn. I hope you have enjoyed this particular episode. If not. 
Don't leave a comment and uh, or uh, shape that comment into a suggestion, maybe, so that I can make this campaign more interesting for you. My lord. If I can get myself to agree with you, that would be a condition, of course. But I've had many good suggestions from viewers so far, so your comments are welcome. And uh, if you're not yet subscribed, then do uh, subscribe. I would commend, would recommend that. I would appreciate that. And we'll see each other next time.